I hope you're having a shit one. Sorry, I've been watching too much North Borders. How's it going, guys? I'm gonna be editing a photo, a couple of photos today. I went to the pier the other night with some friends of mine, and my friend took some photos of me in a black shirt because I needed a promo photo for a new piece of merchandise that I have coming out that's up for pre-order right now. I needed a promo photo of the shirt, but I didn't get one printed, and I didn't have time to get one printed, so I decided that I would have my friend take some photos of me, and I would Photoshop the logo on the front and the back of the shirt, and that would be that. So, this is an editing tutorial on how to make your photos look spooky for Halloween. Yay! It's September, that means it's Halloween. Let's get into this editing tutorial. So I'm going to open up Lightroom right now and then we are going to go ahead and import these photos that we took. Alright, so when I took these it was like 12.45 in the morning so I was super tired. I didn't want to go out but I made myself go out because I really wanted to get these photos done. I had to do a bunch of promotional photos for myself so I had my friend Vikers take a bunch of photos of me in a black t-shirt and I'm gonna put the logo on top of the shirt um, but first I want to go ahead and edit this photo so I right now I'm probably gonna use one of my presets because that's what all of us YouTube photographers do so I'm gonna start off with my preset called Warp Tour and I use this for all my Warp Tour photos I just like the way that it looks but I'm gonna change it up a little bit I want this to be like a moody photo so first of all uh, we're just going to fucking make it more on the blue side, if you know what I'm saying. We could probably bring that back up. Uh, yeah, so I want this to look super moody, and I want to, right now, I'm going to take a graduated filter. We're going to add this graduated filter. I just want to make the ground darker around me because that makes it more eerie. You know what I'm saying? Pull that up a bit. Yeah. Nice. I like that. And then I want to add another one here at the top and just kind of bring this light post, the light on the light post down a little bit. Bring that intensity out a little bit. Uh, clearly I'm standing next to a light so we all know that's what's up. Uh, I'm gonna add one on, I'm just gonna make a vignette basically. I think that might look kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I, I like how this is looking. And I don't need to do too much editing to this photo, you know? It's just a simple photo. Um, maybe let's crush the blacks a little bit. Crush the blacks. Maybe more, ooh, too much fade. Too much fade, we'll leave it how it is, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I gotta do with this photo. Just a simple before and after, you know, like, it's that easy to take a photo from looking bland and boring to moody and spooky. And I really like how this turned out, so I'm definitely gonna copy those settings, paste them to this version as well. Yeah, see, that's sick. I love this. We're gonna adjust this a little bit. You gotta adjust the settings for the photo, um, obviously. Oops. Okay, this one we need to rotate it, adjust this guy right here. Sorry I don't talk very much when I edit, I mean, I forget that I'm like talking to a camera and this is supposed to be entertaining, but I'll add music so that it's more entertaining. Okay, so now we've got the back of the shirt um, here. Alright, so we're going to copy these settings here, paste them on this one. Ooh, that looks so sick. I like that a lot, actually. What's that before and after look like? That's dope. I like that a lot. Hopefully the shirt turns out to look cool on there, but I don't know, it might look shitty. We'll find out. Center that a little bit more. Look at the shadows, man, that's sick. All right, so now we've got a couple shots of the pier at night that I took. I don't really know if I'm gonna like any of these. That looks cool. I dig that. <laughs> Answered my own question. I'm just pasting the settings. I didn't, okay, wait, let me go back to this mode. Okay, so on the sides here, uh, there were some recycling bins that I didn't want in the shots. So I made sure to like keep those out. 
Um, I really like how this looks. Nice and sharp, nice and focused. Great handheld. Export these. We're gonna go long exposure. Oh, actually these are No Tracers merch. If you abandon it, this goes here. No Tracers merch before. We're gonna save the JPEGs. Export, and then we're gonna open up Photoshop. Bring these into Photoshop. Okay, so I tried to make these already, actually. So here's a version in a parking lot. Here's the back, super simple, uh, nothing too fancy, but I wanted something more moody that kind of fit better. Uh, so I wanted to, here's the actual shirt design created by my friend Cameron. Um, I love the design. If you abandon it, we will come. I explore a lot of abandoned buildings. Uh, if you didn't know that, now you know. You can go watch some urban exploration videos after this video. I'll put some links down in the description for you guys. All right, so I think I wanna go with the vertical shots. We'll go with this one and this one. Okay, file, open, recent. I'm just gonna do this so that I can steal, oops, so that I can steal the design off of that and just move it over and that'll save me a ton of time. Okay, so four, one, oops, grab this, bring it over here, boom, put it right there. Now we just gotta adjust the sizing, you know, editing and stuff. And then I gotta put a little bit of a shadow over this, so, there. Go, just make it look like the shadow is actually on it um, and not just like it's <laughs> a text put on there. So now it looks like there's a shadow on the words. That's great. I love it. I'm going to move it over a little bit, I think. Uh, actually, it looks pretty good. Yeah, that's fine with me. Cool. And then we need the back. Okay, take the back, put it on here. And this was actually skewed, so I need to skew it back. Skew. There we go. Boom. So I made a new layer and now I'm adding this onto the shirt to make it look like it's in a shadow, like the rest of the shirt. Um, we're gonna put that to about, let's see what looks good, uh, maybe 39. I think that's probably good right there. And then we're gonna go back to this. I kinda wanna adjust the perspective a little bit more. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button 
and turn on those post notifications so that you get updated every time I upload a video, which is once or twice a week. So yeah, plenty of content for you guys. Plenty more photography and video content coming soon. Thank you for watching. Stay strong, keep enduring. Go out, go create something. And if you use any of this information to edit your photos, please tag me in the photo with hashtag spooky edit with K. I want to see your photos. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one.